Welcome back to the Carter Report. I'm Mark Dahlquist. With us now is North Central Sports Information Director, Clark Tusher. Clark, thanks for checking in. Thanks for having me. So the women's track and field team comes away with the win at the Cardinal Classic. The men's track and field team gets second, but it looked like they were resting some guys because they have the conference meet as well next week. Yeah, most everybody was uh, not running their full complement of events. Uh, they even sent some guys to another meet up in Wisconsin uh, to run in a couple of high profile races up there. So definitely operating at less than 100%, but that's kind of uh, by design with the, uh, the conference meet coming up the following week. It was still nice, though, to see some of the other guys get in there because the Cardinals did have some nice showing, and it's a way for that team to sort of build its depth as they head into the championship season. Yeah, it's a real opportunity for guys to, to kind of step up uh, and, and get some spotlight there who otherwise might not be able to do so. Uh, and I think you saw that uh, across a lot of the different events, uh, guys stepping up uh, who may not have been the big names during the season, but guys they're going to be counting on to help score points and, and win this conference meet on Friday and Saturday. And with the conference meet, uh, the Cardinals obviously aren't going to overlook the rest of the CCIW, but really the countdown is still underway for what the Cardinals hope to be a fourth straight national championship. Uh, yeah, you know, it's going to be an uphill battle. Uh, the, the three Wisconsin schools at the top of the rankings uh, have been strong all season long. Um, they're going to be coming in uh, with a, a large number of qualifiers, just like they always do. So uh, it's going to be tough, um, you know, being, uh, having a home track advantage uh, is a rare thing for a contending team, so hopefully... Uh, the Cardinals will be able to, to take advantage of that. Hopefully they will be able to use that home court advantage to their ability and uh, home court advantage was good for the men's basketball team this weekend but not so much the women as the Vikings of North Park repaid them for a one-point loss earlier in the season on Saturday. Yeah you know a, a critical game for both teams. Uh, North Park uh, you know led through most of the game although it was really close the entire time. Uh, wound up scoring on a buzzer beater so uh, you know it kind of puts, uh, puts the Cardinals in a tough situation here in the final regular season game, having to win uh, and get some help in order to get into the postseason. Yeah, do you think the Cardinals, obviously they were shooken up. It was senior night for them. Do you think that they really took that one to heart? Or do you think they're going to have the ability to bounce back? Uh, yeah, they, they were in that game. Uh, they, you know, they had their chances. Uh, and I'm sure that the message from the coaching staff is that you, know, you just keep doing what you're doing and just execute a little better down the stretch, and you've got this taken care of. Uh, so I think uh, you know it's a it's a really tough way to lose a game, but uh, I, I think the the message since then from the coaching staff has been very positive. So I would expect to see uh, a pretty spirited effort Tuesday night. And hopefully they keep it up. The Cardinal Report was there to see the Cardinals battle the Vikings down to the wire. Let's go to the highlight. Cardinals honoring the seniors before taking on North Park University at Gregory Arena. Jenny Swanson, Sophie Newson, and Emily Murphy hoping to get a W in their final home game. And the trio keeps the Cardinals close in the first half. Swanson opens up the scoring from downtown. Then Newsom follows suit with a triple of her own. Emily Murphy would add a bucket in the paint and draws the foul midway through the first. But the Viking seniors are firing on all cylinders as well. Kamaria Akree misses the layup, but Sarah Peterson right there to tip it back to her. And Akree doesn't make the same mistake twice. Then Peterson nails two of her game-high 31 points off the dribble, and North Park leads the Cardinals by two at the half. Vikings keep the pressure on the Cardinals with good ball movement, as Nicole Kruckman lays in two of her 20 points. Then Peterson feeds a Cree who can't get the layup to go, but Kruckman, who also had 10 boards, cleans up the mess. Cardinals show no fear down four with a minute to go as Kelsey Cooling knocks down the three. Then Laren Shoemaker calls for it in the post and drives the baseline. She delivers on the reversal and the Cardinals are pumped. Tie game with 5.8 seconds to go. Vikings inbound to a Cree and she decides to go left. She takes it all the way to the hoop and gets it to fall. Vikings celebrate a 91-89 win as both teams are now in a three-way tie with Elmhurst for the final CCIW tournament spot. Clark, the women couldn't come away with the win, but the men get a, a win over the Vikings, and they, they move up the national rankings up back into the top five spots. Yeah, they executed as well on offense as they have all season long. Uh, got a big win, improved to 12-0 and at home this year, which certainly bodes well uh, you know, for, for the upcoming week. Um, you know, in, in the national rankings, those have been something that's kind of been a constant all season long. It's kind of been fluctuating up and down. Uh, really hasn't been too much of a factor in the way the team's played, but certainly sets up a nice... Uh, Nice matchup for the, the last regular season game, number three against number five. Yeah, it's going to be a big matchup as the Cardinals are taking on Illinois Wesleyan. Wesleyan right now sitting at number three in the nation and the same identical records except in conference where Wesleyan right now has the edge and they'll be hosting the tournament. 
Uh, yeah, you know, and you know that's all kind of set and, and in, in place now. So, you know, the coaches are able to, uh, as soon as this game's over on Tuesday, be able to start planning uh, for the weekend. Um, you know, Wesleyan has had an excellent run here in the conference. Uh, they've you know, won games a lot of the same ways that North Central has, uh, with strong post play and good defense. So, uh, you know, in terms of uh, uh, matching up uh, styles of play and, and different positions, I think it's a, a very even matchup across the board. And it seems the Cardinals have really had their four core players, guys that returned from last year as starters, Derek Raritan, Landon Gamble, Vince Kamak, Aaron Tickness. But they've sort of been shuffling around, at, you want to say, uh, the point guard position where they've been trying a number of different guys in that spot. Do you think that'll be a question mark for them moving forward? Uh, well, hopefully that's starting to firm itself up a little bit. Uh, you know, Pat Rourke came on after Brandon Williams got sick and wound up staying in the lineup. Um, you know, Jack Merithies, a guy who you know, was out of basketball for a little while, uh, came back and had a, a slow start to the season. Now he started to hit his groove a little bit, started to earn a little more playing time. So hopefully those guys, uh, with Brandon coming in and spelling those guys uh, for a few minutes now, uh, are able to solidify a bit of a rotation there and establish some consistency at the point guard. Yeah, they're definitely showing some depth. Each guy coming in, giving big minutes. And another guy who's getting big minutes but on the wrestling mat, Nathan Fitzenreiter, as he holds on to that number two spot in the nation right now at 133 pounds. Uh, yeah, you know, they're getting ready for the conference meet this weekend as well. Uh, you know, Nathan, the prohibitive favorite at 133 pounds. And then heading into the regionals next week uh, where he's going to be uh, looking for uh, another title there as well. So uh, I think they've, they've done the work to put him in a position to, to achieve the goals that he came back for a fifth year to, to achieve. And now it's time to go and, and take care of it. Well, it should be an exciting next couple of weeks in Cardinal Athletics. Clark, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. The women's indoor track and field team is back in action this weekend as they head to Carthage College for the CCIW meet. I'm Mark Dahlquist. We'll see you here next time on the Cardinal Report.